you work for the last two days going to the game, pre prepare the game, and then you see things are happening pretty exactly like you planned it all, you know, how you're all talking about. Uh, that's the best feeling you can have as a coach. I'm the part who is thinking about our game constantly. So preparing the next game is the main part. And what can we expect? What we will have to do? Where are our solutions? And we want to be pretty precise and want to show our players pretty exactly what, are, what will be our solutions for the next game. Yeah, and this keeps you busy, I can tell you. <laughs> if you do it in the right way, you watch a lot of football. And of mm. course, without support, uh, I couldn't handle and deal with all these information which are necessary. So it's a lot of information to deal with and I'm something like the filter. It gives you something you don't have normally if you live our life. That's time uh, to go to the basics and to think basically how we football-wise can go on, what we can improve and really take the time calm down and really think about the basics and then suddenly out of a sudden you see uh, many possibilities coming up and uh, yeah this gives you energy i know what we should do so i have to talk of course to my colleagues <laughs> and to convince them as well about my ideas not too different of course but uh, yeah still there are always things to improve and little details you now i had the time or we all had mm. the time to think about First of all, I was too slow, I can say, <laughs> uh, to play professional football. Probably at the age of 16, 17, I became a coach. And then I, the most important step was that I started studying uh, sports at the University of Mainz. Mainz manager at that time was uh, searching for some students who can support this work. And this was my step in to professional football. We did some analysis and uh, tried to help a little bit to improve the team because they struggled really. They were last in the table. Uh, they had a terrible right defender. His name, if I remember <laughs> right, was Jürgen Klopp. <laughs> there was a lot of space to improve. So uh, yeah, so this, these were my first steps uh, into professional football. And Jürgen, of course, was one of the guys. So he studied sports as well. Though this was easy then uh, to get a connection. And uh, so that's, that was the way we started uh, communicating and uh, sharing ideas and so on. Yeah, this ambition to learn, uh, I realized pretty quickly, is so important. And I told to myself, uh, come on, keep this up. I want mm. to stay a learning person in general in life. And as a football coach, this was an important decision for me because now I know more than I knew 25 years ago. But I'm pretty sure I will know more in the next 25 years. So uh, keep this up and learn every day and think about even more details. Uh, that's my way. Uh, what I enjoy always the most is uh, still the moments when, the, when only the team is together. Uh, so this first hour uh, after that one in the dressing room is <laughs> really a good time. And then going back to Liverpool and then that's the moment uh, you realize oh, that's a massive one. And of course it's not only for you, you know that, but then that's the moment when you feel it. Uh, you really you get this. Uh, it was for me, how can I say, a massive energy boost makes you hungry for the next one because that's the good thing and if you deal with the, with the right way with your success uh, then you want to have this feeling uh, again and again and again so this is what you're what i'm what we are looking for of course as well